Posture and the breathing and the breath can be trained, worked on away from the instrument, should be trained and worked on away from the instrument so that then we can bring it to the instrument. Once we pick up the instrument, the energy changes, our energy changes, we become kind of a combination of us and our instrument. And since we have such a um, intimate relationship with each other, spending time alone, <laughs> Uh, if you you know if you're a, a serious student, then you're spending hours every day, or a st serious student that is um, pursuing a career in as a trombone player, then you're spending a lot of time together. But we also have, like any other relationship, uh, we need to treat her or him well, which means keeping our instrument in shape, keeping it clean and taking care of the instrument as well as taking care of why we play it. Anyway, when we pick up the horn, we have a certain energy that changes. So here I recommend now before we play, just to spend 30 seconds, here I'll hold my horn so you can see it, 30 seconds just going back to that place where we were a few minutes ago with this posture and the breath. Maybe one or two breaths with the horn, Again. Okay, now, now we're getting ready to play. <laughs> About time, huh? I strongly believe that the first notes that we play in the day should be notes of music. I don't really think we need to somehow warm up so that we can play music. Now, of course, we have to warm our muscles up. That is true, that's a given. There's a lot of muscles here on the armature that we do need to warm up. But why do we need to do something that's non-musical to warm our muscles up? Why don't we warm our muscles up with playing music? Why not, what a concept. <laughs> and since we're gonna play music, why not improvise? Now if you're a classical musician, a so-called non-improvising musician, I highly recommend that you spend the beginning of your practice day improvising. It's a great way to get deeper into the music and deeper into yourself as a composer. So we can all be something of a composer when we're improvising. Improvising is composing, composing in the moment. And when we're composing and getting deeper into the music, then we're aware of many different things when we're performing and listening to music because we're listening to music not only as a performer or as an audience, interested audience member, but now we're listening, if we want to, as a composer would listen to music, paying attention to what's going on compositionally. What I suggest is to pick a tonality to warm up on. And this way, we're covering several areas at the same time. We'll say, I'll start in the key of C major, for example. White notes on a piano. It's also called the white note exercise. It's an etude that, as far as I know, was designed for composers. But of course we can use this, and we do use this, as training, working on our improvisation. So here, I can warm up, work on my tonality work of C major, which includes, of course, D, Dorian, E Phrygian, F Lydian, etc., and create music with the simple structure of source material. In this case, the source material are the seven notes that comprise the C major scale. But if I think scale, if I start to improvise on a scale, I start to play the scale. So I prefer to think about tonality. So we're in the C major tonality, which includes A minor or D minor, which also could include a G7 chord, arpeggio or scale, and now 
we can combine all the different modes of C major and create a piece. If it sounds too complicated for you, just use the seven notes and improvise on those and don't think about anything else. But if you would like to um, make some, create some harmonic movement in your improvisation, in your etude, then you can think about the different modes of C major or different modes of whatever key you happen to be improvising on. Now, in this case, C major and we can go to the different modes, D minor 7 or D minor to G7 to C major. 2-5-1 is the strongest progression in music, not just in jazz, but in music. 2-5-1, falling down the fifth structure, which is the gravity, the architectural gravity of music is falling down the fifth structure. 5-1, 2-5-1, 6-2-5-1, falling down. This is like the natural gravity of music. <laughs> so we can use that, or we can go against the gravity and create some tension by using other progressions. Key of C major, warm up, etude. Thank you. 